Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install a floating shelf. Now this shelf we just got a long time ago from IKEA. I'm just going to relocate it. So this is a perfect time for me to show you how I installed it on my wall. Now as you can see, it came with a metal bracket. So one of the tools that you're going to be using is a stud finder. I personally love using my Franklin stud finder. This thing is so easy to use and has all the LEDs. If you're interested on this one, I made a specific video. I'll leave on the link on the right over here on how to use it. So what you're going to do first is try to locate all the studs on the area that you're going to mount it on. As you can see, the Franklin picks up all the studs with ease. Now here I located one of the studs and just mark it as you go. Now measure the bracket and then with a straight edge, in this case I'm using my leveler, I'm just going to mark out where I'm going to place that bracket. So now I'm marking where I'm going to put those anchors. So I'm going to pre-drill those holes. And just put those anchors right through. Now then use your hammer to gently tap those anchors. You don't want to hammer too hard because there's a possibility that they might break. Now do the same thing on the other side. You don't want to make your holes too big because those anchors will just wobble around and will defeat the purpose of them. So there you go, just gently tap those in. Now I'm laying the support bracket in and I'm just gonna temporarily just lightly screw these on. So you don't want to over tighten these because you're going to have to readjust it just in case it is not straight. Now with my leveler, I'm going to place it on top to check if they're straight. As you can see, it is right on the middle. I'm also going to be checking on the other side as well. Now when everything is nice and straight, go tighten those screws down. Now this part isn't necessary. What I did was I drilled extra holes on where the studs are located. I'm going to be placing a lot of items on this floating shelf. So I want it to be fully secured and will be able to support the weight. Now what I did was I drilled extra holes so that I can put some extra screws for extra support. As you can see here, Maybe this is not the right screws, but I just found some extra drywall screws and I think that should be enough to anchor this bracket down. And there you go, it's nice and sturdy. Testing everything, perfect. Now we're gonna match the bracket up with the holes. And just slide them right in. Underneath the floating shelf, there is a place where you can put a screw on so that this will not separate from the bracket. So there you have it. It is nice and sturdy. It's not going to separate from the bracket and easy as that. So once again, friends, thank you so much for tuning once again to this channel. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, product reviews, and many more on this channel. Thank you once again. Happy New Year. I'll see you on the next video.